guys, what is up? Welcome back to Halo 5 Informer. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in today. I really do appreciate it. Did you guys have a Merry Christmas? I had a very Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys did too. Um, tell me what you guys thought of Christmas this year in the um, description below, or should I say the comment section below. I apologize for that. Now, what I want to talk to you guys about today is basically why Halo 4 is a great game, but why I don't think that it was a mistake. Truly, I think Halo 4 had to be done the way it has been, and I want to start by saying this, and I've said this many times, and I'm going to keep on saying it until people get the drift. Halo 4 was a rushed game. Basically, that makes Halo even better than it should be. Halo 4 better than it should be, because it was a rushed game. It wasn't even supposed to come out, and if you guys have noticed, it doesn't run too good on the 360, because it wasn't meant for the 360. It was meant to be a bigger game, and a much better game. That's what this entire year was for, but you know, that just went to trash, because of Microsoft pushing them around with it so I just wanted to put that out there and I'm gonna keep on putting that out there and to till people start understanding now Halo 4 did leave out some stuff that people enjoyed like MLG and all of this different um competitive play now people are saying Halo 4 ruined Halo because it doesn't have competitive um you know competitions and all of this stuff now I do know this is all important but this is not what I think of when I think Halo I think they did amazing on Halo 4. They did something Bungie could have never done, and I think Bungie had to leave in order for Halo to be where it is now. Now, I know you guys are probably like, this guy's freaking crazy, but I can truly say I love Halo the way it is, and some all the other strong Halo players that have been playing Halo, unlike the people that have been leaving it lately, um, would agree with that. And I saw this really awesome comment on um one of ninja's videos who is a huge mlg or who used to be a huge mlg halo player um and he was talking about how microsoft rushed the game too and this guy said well if the game was rushed and that just makes halo even more perfect in my opinion because they push the game hard and they do everything they can to make the game better and i, I just i was mind blown by that comment i've never seen any comments like that and those are the kind of comments I love to see, in my opinion. Now, I do want to point something else out between 343 and Bungie. Now, basically, what it's been going off on is basically, um, 343 is talking to us. Like, legitly talking to us, listening to what we have to say. You know, they're working with uh, competitive players to make Halo 5 more competitive and tons more Fun. Now, they're even talking to the community, they're asking us what we want, we're telling them what we want, and this is a lot of stuff that Bungie never really did. They didn't socialize with the community as much as 343 has been, and what, one, one more thing I really want to talk to you guys about, I probably will be talking about a little bit more in this video after this, but this is something very important. Now, when I think Halo, I think the campaign, and the campaign in Halo 4 is absolutely beautiful, magnificent, and amazing. The soundtrack is amazing. The soundtrack is something new that we haven't seen in Halo before, and it's a great, great build-off. All Halos in a better way. But, again, not a lot of people would agree with this, but I just love it. They portrayed Master Chief as someone that's not just a huge super spar and a badass that can't be killed. They, they showed him in a different way, and when they killed off Cortana, they killed her off in a way that meant something to Chief and to humanity. She died to save him. Now, she didn't just die by getting shot by a pistol, like, uh, you know, basically, uh, I can't really finish that sentence, but you know, she didn't die by a pistol like some other crappy um, game designer would have uh, portrayed it. But, you know... They actually meant her death to be something important. They wanted to show a new side to Chief. And Cordana dying pissed off a lot of people. I do know that. But the way that they portrayed her death actually meant something. And that's something that's really, really, really good to have in a game. All that emotion built up to show Master Chief's true other side of himself, other than his badass self, um, beating grunts to the ground and flipping pistols in his hands. You know, this is a different side that we never really got to see that much. Now, I just, I love what 343's done. I know Halo 4 is not perfect. I know it's not, guys. 
But basically, when everyone's just trashing the game, it's ruining the game even more. You guys aren't even giving Halo a chance anymore. And so many good YouTubers have left because of Halo 4. They're like, we shouldn't even do Halo 4 now. Now, I want to point something out to you guys. Very important. I'm not on YouTube to grow a huge audience, even though that would be really cool. I'm not going to do anything it takes to get views. I'm going to do anything it takes to grow Halo back and make Halo the best. I'm going to stick with Halo until the end. I'm not going to ditch it. Not even for a second. Now, if I don't post for like a week or two, then uh, that probably means I'm up to something. But I'm not going to ditch Halo. I'm going to stay here. You guys can count on that. Um, If you've checked, I haven't basically ditched Halo in a while now. I've been playing it nonstop, and I'm going to try to keep it that way. I'm always going to try to find ways to keep the game fresh. And there's so many things I am planning to do on this channel to help you guys stay enjoyed with Halo 4 until we see Halo 5 or the next Halo title. So, I really just wanted to explain this to you guys because it means so much to me to see all of these strong Halo fans keeping at Halo because truly, in my opinion, I've, I've seen Bungie moving more towards PlayStation than they have um, Xbox and it's a little upsetting, I know, but Bungie's going to be nothing like Halo. It's going to be more like a Borderlands game. Um, I was really excited about Bungie at first, but now I haven't been as too much excited with it. You know, I, I don't know, but I love Halo. I'm going to stick with 343. I want to make sure that they make Halo 5 the best they can. I want to make sure they can make a comeback, and I want to make sure Halo strives in the future, because I don't want it to die in the next five years. That would be really sad. It'd be really, really sad, and I want to work really hard to actually try to save Halo. I don't want to just ditch it like so many other people have, because there's no competitive play in it or any of that. Now, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today. I, I, It really means a lot to me, guys, and I hope you guys are here to stay with me and help me grow Halo back with all of these new videos and news videos because I really, really, really want to save Halo, and I hope you guys do too. That's what I'm growing this channel to be, and I really want you guys to help me saving Halo, because that's something that means a lot to 343 and everyone else. I want to make their work be, um, be, be worked hard, pretty much. I want everything that they've done to pull off and be amazing for Halo. Okay, guys, I think I've talked enough about this. Um, you guys are probably getting bored of me talking about how much I want to save Halo. Um, even though it is very, very important. I will see you guys next time on Halo 5 Informer. Again, thank you so much for tuning in today. I love hearing that and all of all the stuff you guys have to tell me and share with me in the comments. I will see you guys next time. Peace. All that's left is a window to my soul. Come and get it with me.